Hello, you buggers, and welcome back to Let's Build New Crest, and welcome to the final part of Council Block. I'm actually going to be really sad when this part's over because I really enjoyed building this place. I really did. I really, really did. But don't worry. Do not fret, pet. We are going to be... Uh, we've still got loads of other lots to do for Let's Build New Crest, so we've got loads of families and loads of... Well, I've got them all written down, ready to flop out from my imagination and get into this world. Because, yeah, this part, this series is not over yet. It is not over until the fat lady sings. Who's that up there? Oh, it's Sheldon. Oh, he's in his athletic gear. He's eating the brownies. I'll show you a bit of that in a second. Um, oh, and there's Barry there as well. Hello, Barry. Barry's going to play around with some balls. Barry likes his balls. Much like Beryl. Beryl likes her balls too. <laughs> Beryl hasn't got balls, but she likes to play with them. Um, I just spat on my mic. Delightful. Delightful. That is disgusting. But this person is not disgusting. Look how beautiful this new resident is, my friends. Beautiful. This is Mr. William Fletcher. Mr. William Fletcher. William's probably around... 25 24 25 years old i would say um he's goth he he loves the darker things in life he really does it's very stylish he actually suffers from cystic fibrosis which is a condition that affects your lungs and digestive systems um which he kind of i will say battles with every day he does battle with it every day but he's actually on a list a transplant list waiting for new lungs so he is on a transplant list ready and waiting for new lungs so he can become better now i want to try and be as um respectful and uh educational as i can i do not know much on the subject at all i've tried to really like build up my knowledge and stuff of it just for this character um so I'm going to be placing a few things around the flat that I know I've seen or read somewhere that will help with the condition that he's got. Um, but yeah, I really, really love that. I think he's absolutely gorgeous for a start. I'm going to say he's pansexual as well. Uh, gender doesn't matter to him. His ex-girlfriend was a trans woman. Um, he's also been out with men. I So he's very, very gender fluid. He loves to, he just loves people, loves people of his community anyway by community i mean the goth community i have so many friends who are goth who uh i can kind of look to for these characters as well which is really cool um yeah I, there's just i don't know i watch so many goth youtubers as well i don't know what it is i just find that whole like community just so fascinating and i, don't, I know this is not uh statement that you can say about everybody but i used to hang around in a lot of the community spaces where goths were and i've always found them to be very open very nice people there's always this weird kind of like i don't know presumption that they're these sad melancholy like creatures when they're really not they're really not so i'm bringing this he's very funny i'm gonna say he's very very funny too um, and I'm going to say he's definitely a little bit of a slut as well. He does like to stick his sausage in all holes. I will not lie to you. He is very, he is a one for the people. I tell you that. But I, I'm going to be uh, making his family as well. His family are definitely going to be living in Newcrest somewhere. But what he wanted, he wanted his freedom. His mum was very much against it as well because she likes having him around because of his condition. She finds it hard to think that he can look after himself, in which he can. He can look after himself. He's just got to make sure that he keeps up with his medications, um, his nebulizer, which is an instrument that I don't know what it does. I used to have really severe asthma and I used to be on a nebulizer quite a bit. Um, but I think it opens up the airways in your lungs and allows oxygen to get in there properly. So I'm going to try and make a contraption of some kind, maybe a nebulizer by the bed or something, or even by the sofa. Um, and I've pulled out a couple of things from get to work just for that matter. And also I know that with cystic fibrosis, doing some kind of cardio um, really, really helps loosen up like the mucus in your lungs and i think 
I've read somewhere as well that it can affect your is it liver further on into the condition, like when you get a bit older, because you need to keep the kind of mucus control with like medication and stuff. I don't know. That is what I've read. If there's anybody out there with this condition and you can educate me and everybody else, then please write down in the comment box below because I would love to um, have someone firsthand who would kind of know these things. I actually know somebody with CF and I, I've tried to contact or tried to see if I can find her, but I'm not on many, many social medias like Facebook and stuff, so I can't. But yeah, love his character. Really, really do. We're definitely going to develop his story a bit more as we're building through the house or the flat, sorry. Um, but so far, this is what we've done. We've picked some wallpapers. I'm going to say that he decorated this place without the council knowing. So I do want this to be kind of a fresh and modern take on one of these flats because we have done a lot of kind of personality builds if you know what i mean it kind of fits with their personality and with this one here i want it to be very fresh very dark and black but still with hints of like brightness like color like that's why i went for these walls and yeah you get what i mean so i did pull this out of um from get to work it's supposed to be like a uv kind of drip but i'm going to try and we're going to pretend that this is kind of a nebulizer that we can put by a sofa or a bed. And I also obviously pulled out a treadmill just so that William can get on treadmill and um, get his cardio up. I think that's the best way to go. Loving these trousers, by the way. These trousers are from the university, I think. Absolutely loving them. I think they suit him to the ground. Not sure about the uh, turtleneck, but it suits his personality and it suits him. Um, but that there, my loves, just reminds me of Shirley from EastEnders. And that is all I'm going to say on the matter. Now, let's get into build mode and let's get started. How are you all today? I hope you're all well. I really do. World's a bit shit. We've, we say this every time, but it is. It is, but you're here with me. Just take a, get a cup of tea, put your feet up, get your tits out if you fancy. <laughs> no, don't do that. It's very, very... It's very, very, yes, yeah, questionable. I don't want boobs out while watching me. Thank you. <laughs> ah! Okay, so we're going to use the same kitchen, but we're going to pretend that he's painted the kitchen cup, the pit kitchen cupboards. I think that would be the way to go. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. I'm still laughing at it now. Um, cooker, maybe we can get a black cooker in here. I wouldn't imagine he would, been, maybe he just bought his own cooker. We'll, set, we'll do that. So the layout is very similar to the other places, but um, we're going to go with it. We're going to run with it and it's going to be fine. It is going to be fine. Now, the kind of things I've... Oh, I forgot to even say what personality and stuff I made him. And what we've changed from last time. I'm failing. But hey, this is just me being me. So skills... Oh, he's got a bit of fitness because I put him on the treadmill. Um, where am I going? I'm going in here. So he's a bit of a loner, even though he likes people. I'm I wanted the trait to kind of that he doesn't mind his own company. I wanted that to kind of come through. Non-committal as well. Obviously, I said he's a bit of a slut, so he is porking around in all holes. Um, and bookworm, which kind of brings the quick learner thing. I would imagine he's a very intelligent guy. He knows a lot of things about a lot of stuff, and I kind of like that for him. I really do. Things we changed last time with a Nuna's place. We didn't really change much, but there was a somebody in the comments. I, I'm so shit at this. I should, when I get to the next part, so I'm going to make sure that whatever comment someone says, I will maybe flash it up on the screen and show your name, like almost like a sort of shout out kind of thing. I think that might be a little nice thing to bring to these videos. But a rather lovely fellow said to put a door frame here and the beaded curtains, and it just pulled this place together i love that idea so thank you so much kind sir i really appreciate it now what i've done here outside is i've put this table with the tablecloth here because what what miss anu does is bake all of these amazing stuff she plonks it on here and then she calls to meal and you should just see the whole block of people just come up and then they, they all stand around talking and eating it's really cute it's really cute and it makes that community vibe kind of shine through and we're here for it so yes the end. You're very welcome. <laughs> I just thought that was a nice touch. I really did. Anyway, let's move on. 
Here we go. Stunning. 100% stunning. Right. Lovely. Let's get you in the corner there. Now, I do want to kind of... Where could I... In fact, what about if I do this? If I maybe put this there. Because I tested out Nuna's... Uh, flat i tested it out and she was cooking on this corner i didn't know that they could do that i always thought they never could cook on that but she was cooking there fine so this is going to make the kind of layout a little bit better because i can put a washing machine here now and i've had so many people say why aren't you putting like a separate wash like a laundry room where they can all come and do their laundry that's just not a thing in council flats in the uk that's why i haven't done it like it's they don't have that so i'm just trying to keep it as real is what it can be that's a dryer um so yeah that is uh that's why my loves that is completely why yeah okay stunning we'll definitely do the kitchen cut boards as well we'll definitely do the ones in black so we'll put a big boy no we'll put a big corner boy there stunning stunning absolutely gorgeous and then we'll flop maybe the smaller ones just around it everywhere i think that could be cool I think that could be cool i've had a lot of people say are you going to be doing a let's play um i definitely won't do a let's play but i think as soon as this one is done i'm going to record a couple of hours of gameplay and just put a video up for you guys just like a one-off kind of thing because i know you guys really i think that could be quite funny as well we could do some funny things with it and just broaden the story a little bit so yeah keep an eye out on that for coming in the next few days i'll get that up on the channel in the next few days uh, unsure when, but it will be coming. Yes, that's fresh and modern. Now, I think I want to separate this with a screen, but I'm just thinking what... I do want it to be modern. We've got to have that modern vibe coming through, but I still want it to look like uh, he could pick it up and take it wherever he wants to go, you know? You know? So I don't want it to be too like this, you know, where it just looks like it's unmovable i mean this would be bloody perfect but it's bloody custom content for goodness sake maybe if i use the one from where's that like white one i know that's got like a uh a black swatch on it i can't see it for the life of me there this one oh it hasn't okay great right i'm gonna find one one second okay so i got the one from discover university i'm not that keen on the green greenish looking glass but i don't know it just adds a little bit more je ne sais quoi into it and that is exactly what we need in this place we need a bit more je ne sais quoi um wherever things may go you know we'll still use the same sink and i'm just going to use it in white as well you cannot paint the sink because that would be weird wouldn't it wouldn't it i may do a tile splashback though just because I can you maybe put up a few black tiles behind um yes just like this do we want to go a little bit more that's got marks all over it now I do see him as a little bit more of a perfectionist um maybe if I just use the spa day ones spa day or we could go for a gray brick behind it that's quite nice isn't it how high does the half one come up? I know that... The, where's that half one? This one. How high do you come up? Oh, that's perfect. But you're not going to come in a swatch, are you? No, you little shit. I thought we were on to a winner then and then you took my dreams from me. <sighs> How dramatic. <laughs> oh, that's not too bad. And then it feels... Yeah, we'll do that. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. And I think we're going to use a kind of modern extractor as well. Above here, maybe like using this one. Because this one comes in a black as well. Yes, I think so. I'm going to tuck it in though. Just a little smidgen. Just a smidgen. Yes, that's better. Ooh, I like. Okay. Okay, so this over here. I'm going to go into debug. And I'm going to pull out a few objects that could look like medication. Because a few of the videos that I watched on uh, YouTube with people 
who kind of go day to day with cystic fibrosis they have a lot of medication they have to take every day so i really want to get that kind of coming through in here so i'm going to try and find some stuff in debug give me a squiffy okay so i've managed to pull out a few of the med actual medicines but i've also pulled this, this like spice rack out and i've sized it down and then what i would imagine this would be would be the days of the week where uh, William has to take his medication and whatnot just so it's labeled for him properly so he knows exactly what to do um, and what to take on which day. I thought that would be a nice little touch. A really nice little touch. Now up here, I think in a moment putting some shelving, but maybe using the... Uh, oh, I don't know where that object is. Oh, here it is. Maybe using this one. Does this come in a black? It comes in a... Oh, it does come in a black. That's very dark, though. That's very dark. I would imagine he likes his wine as well. Really into his wine. I'm thinking about going for the grey instead. Obviously, we'll get it into a better orientation. I may even hide a part with the cupboard. Mm, or I could size it down. Let's size it down instead. Yeah, we'll plonk that there. We'll plonk that and do we have can we just get a wine bottle out kitchen wine rack i think that's what that is oh no it's not it's that uh oh it's cc for goodness um oh oh that's cc as well damn <laughs> damn maybe he loves his coffee as well so maybe i'll put a little coffee pot over in this corner and then actually put a coffee maker right here Hopefully, he'll be able to get to everything there. He should be able to. He should be able to. It would be fine. And we'll put that there. If, do you come in a darker color? No, that's the darkest you come in. Um, Can we get a, a pure black one? I don't... What do you look... Oh, you look a bit better. Let's get you. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Okay. Loves this coffee. Loves it. So, we need to keep that area as free as possible for um cooking and whatnot so i think up here we'll actually put you the utensils actually on this wall instead rather than putting it by the cooker blah blah oh in fact we'll use some pots and pans we haven't used one of them likes a bit of cooking as well um oh yeah and his husband died he had a husband, but his husband died i'm i'm joking by the way i just <laughs> i know that that is like the the feeling that's going around in this flat block at the minute all of the husbands have been dying <laughs> what can i say i'm just a black widow okay yeah i'm kind of feeling that i'm thinking i'm going to do a breakfast bar for william i'm thinking a breakfast bar should we do one actually we'll do one look how much that cuts into the window goodness in fact i'm going to choose a breakfast bar in this variety that's not that's not black they don't come in black damn you to hell to absolute hell um maybe i'll use this one is that that's not modern enough it's not it's absolutely not modern enough we need i've said this before but we need some air uh, we need some more barstool height things because we're slowly dwindling on them oh, i don't want the brown wood on top that looks weird is that a bar stool height is that are you no you're not dumb maybe i'll use the same one from that we used in in fact i'm just going to go and grab that who did i put that in again it was julian's yeah we'll use this one sorry julian i'm just nicking your table darling yes in the black as well stunning We'll pop you there. We'll flop you into the corner there. And then I'm going to go and put a nice bar stool on it. A really no lovely bar stool that you would like. Does this come in a dark colour? I mean, it's got the white top, but I think we're going to go for that. Again, I want to keep this very nice and fresh and modern. So I'm thinking going for that one instead. Yes. Yes, we'll do that. Because then here I can put the rubbish bin. Which will flop in there delightfully. 
absolutely delightfully. Oh, <laughs> just laughing at Blue. You, you wouldn't have heard him, but he made the cutest noise then. Okay, and I'm thinking about putting the music out. I'm putting some music out here. In fact, let me just try something. I'm just going to whiffle that around and pop you in that orientation. Would that be okay? Would I still be able to get a bin there? I reckon I should be able to. I mean, it is right behind him when he eats, but when you're limited on space, you've just got to go with things. You really do. So he definitely, I definitely see him playing an instrument as well of some kind. Maybe a guitar. He'd be really good at electric guitar. So we'll definitely get a lovely big stereo out here. Maybe something a bit old fashioned. Maybe this one. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we'll keep this in this area. This is his main area where he likes to kind of hang out and listen to his music. I'm def I really would have loved to have put like one of those massage tables in here because I know um some people with cystic fibrosis have to have like daily massages to kind of loosen up everything in their lungs so they can breathe properly. Um but I just don't think I'm going to have the room in here to be able to do it because I still want this place to look like semi nice without having a big massage table here. Especially because we've got this and um the sofas and everything gonna have to fit in and stuff like we we need to think about that anyway onto the wall i'm thinking a pop of red in here and i'm thinking i know of maybe this oh that's got cream i don't know if that's kind of helping the screen color blend in a little bit more but now i know this comes in a few other just black and white ones let's have a little look shall we was that it fantastic <laughs> fantastic Let's just filter it. Filter the colours, my love. For black, my sweet. There we go. Lovely. Right, we need like... Ooh. Yes. Yeah, maybe he's a bit of a horror movie buff as well. One of my friends who is who is goth um, is absolutely uh, fascinated with horror films. And he has shown me so many good ones over the years. So many. Little shout out to Dominic. Hello. Hello, friend. He'll be cringing at me now. <laughs> but oh well. So yes, that one. Do we want to do anything on the other side here? Have we got anything collectible wall-wise in a black that would really suit being here? Oh, that's really cute. I know it's like a deer, but that was very cute. I'm actually all for that. Um, I would also imagine that he maybe practice a little bit of wicker. So he he do loves he do loves he loves a little bit of a spell casting and whatnot. Yeah, that's cute. We'll put that over there. Oh, I like that. Oh, these would look great in here as well. These would look great in the living area actually. So I'm going to pull these out while we're here. Yes, 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 and yes. Oh, is that the same one? What one's not then? Is it this one? There we go. Yeah, we'll sort them out in a minute. We'll sort them out in a minute. So yeah, maybe we need to do him some kind of altar somewhere. Maybe that could be in the bedroom, actually. That could be cool. That could be really cool. Um, <laughs> What other things have we got here? What we can flop around? I'm not too sure. I'm going to pull a few f things out, actually. Give me a second. Okay. So I pulled a few things out, but it was mainly for in the living area. I also put these up over here. And I just pulled out another movie poster, another horror movie poster. I thought that would be pretty cool. And I'm thinking here, I really want a chair. Because I know a lot of my goth friends wear the most strapped-in boots I've ever seen in my bloody life. Um, and I've worn a few over the years. Um, the new rocks and and I know how long it takes <laughs> it takes to get them on and to take it takes to get them off. So he definitely needs a chair to be able to put his shoes on at the uh, at the doorway. We always laugh because when there was house parties, um, my girlfriends were always the last one to come in because they were too busy taking their shoes off. Uh, depending on which house we were in, by the way, because they they've been out in the hallway trying to get their shoes off. And 
Yes, there we go. A little story for me. That was the most interesting story I've ever told in my life. And you are most welcome. <laughs> you are most welcome. That's a little bit too... Just not for here. Not for here. Oh, that one there might do a well. Okay. But I don't think it's the right one, darling. I still want it to look kind of stylish. Oh, that one. That's the one. And I won't, like, turn it anyway. I'll put it like that. Just there. With a little doormat as well. A little doormat. Have we got a little skull and bones doormat? Oh, that would look great. <gasps> yes. I think we'll put that in the bedroom. I think we'll pop that in the bedroom. And I think he... Oh. Oh, no, that's got weird little deer dogs on it, whatever they are. Um, Maybe like... Oh, spider's web. Oh, yes. Well, you're going outside. Yeah, we'll just pop it outside. That's cool. That suits. That suits. I am going to turn that. Change my mind. Change my bloody mind, I tell you. There we go. I'll flop that to there. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm thinking about... I'm going to put a couple of candles on top here. Big pillar candles. Have we got... Uh... Mm, lighting. That one. Do we have a pillar candle in a black? I'm doubting it. Oh, that one might look okay, actually. That one. Or, oh, I know that these, like, oh, that can go in the living area. I know that those glow. That looks really pretty. So maybe getting in. Maybe that one there. Just a little candle. Stunning, stunning. And we need something to go up there, really. So let's get back into pictures and see what we can pull out here that will fit the aesthetics of this place. And of him. He needs to be semi-modern. But I, I mean, this is base game. Yeah, that's not going to work. It is a pretty picture, though. I do like that. I do like it. Um, I can, Nothing's really popping out for me at the minute. Nothing at all. So maybe I'll go and put, like, maybe we can go a little bit more classic here. No, it doesn't fit the vibe now. It doesn't fit the vibe. Oh, maybe we'll put another movie poster up here instead. Oh, I love that one. Maybe this could be uh, anime. He loves a bit of anime as well. We'll definitely make him a bit of a gamer. I'll give him a games console and stuff. Yeah, we'll do that. Yes. Yes, I'm all for that. See, this place has just got a much more fresher vibe compared to the rest. It's not going to be cluttered. It's going to be very streamlined and a little bit minimalist, but nothing too hefty. So, in here, the most important thing is we need to try to make this act as a nebulizer. So, I'm going to hit this around the corner here. I know nebulizers can be small now. But I just really wanted something with the kind of tubes on it. And this is the only object really that would kind of bring that across for this character. So we're going to go ahead and use that and then put the... Oh, in fact, I'm going to put it on this corner. Because I do... Ah, it's going to be hard to fit this in with a sofa. Hmm. Maybe I need to change the orientation of this and put this over here. I mean, it kind of makes sense it being by the window as well. I would imagine he'd whiffed that blind up while he's doing his morning runs. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that there. We'll move you out there for the minute, my darling. And I'm going to get a lovely sofa here. A black sofa, obviously. Needs to be modern. It needs to have some kind of pizzazz to it, though. Ooh. This could work. It's not actually a bad sofa, is this? It's base game as well. I mean, that could work in here. I think we're going to do that. It's going to limit the space to put a TV, though. So maybe I'll do the TV on a unit down here. I, do, I would love to pull this here, just so it's a bit more in line with the TV, but I need to fit this in. Um, maybe I could put that there now. 
I know I've just said the window thing, but I just really want this orientation to be right. Yeah, I think this is going to be the best way to do it. This is the best way. So we're going to do it. And then I'm going to put the nebulizer in this corner here. Maybe just, maybe I'll size this down slightly and put that behind the sofa there. So he can lay down and hook himself up to the nebulizer and get his lungs working a little bit better. Like I'm, I'm in awe of any of you out there that have to go through any condition, but the, like with, with CF, like it must just be so debilitating. And so my massive, massive love gets sent out to you. Whoever is out there with this condition, I really wish that the Sims had kind of representation for these things. I really do. I think it's lacking to be honest. Okay. I'm we're going to do a bookcase over there so these need to fit in here in some kind of orientation so maybe if i can do like a little gallery wall i might be able to squeeze a mirror in there as well let's try shall we my friends we're gonna try we're going to try and i'm loving having this black swatch on as well because i'm getting to see all the black things and i'm very into it that's very large do you have anything a little bit smaller that is not black. That is grey. For goodness, Sims team. Um, what about you? Oh. No. Maybe. Oh. That's grey. That's grey. That's grey. <laughs> Everything is grey. Hmm. Maybe I'll just... I want it to be sort of modern, so I don't want it to um, have like frilly edges or whatnot. I think the best one that we actually put up then was this one. And I know it is grey, but I'm going to go for it. I am. You watch me. See? Told you. I did. I went for it. Absolutely went for it. Oh, I don't like that up there. In fact, do you know what? Goodbye. I'm going to put a bigger mirror in. Mm, can we lift this one up? Or can we use this one? Is that a bit too big? Eh, it's not too bad. I don't want it that big, though. Sorry, it's taken me six years. I'm going to pick a mirror. 6,000 years later, we went for this one. So, nice little oval number. Didn't realize that that one there had that swatch. Um, Yeah, it fits in. This is paying homage to his love of anime and maybe com like computer games. Maybe they're a collectible item or something. That was where I'm going with that. And it's sticking we're going to flop a lamp down in this corner here. I do want it to be a nice modern-esque lamp. Maybe using one of these. Or this one. I mean, I can size this down so it doesn't look too... Uh, no, that's making it look a little bit weird. We don't want that. We do not want it. Oh, this one. Yes. This is the, this is the ticket right here. That's the look I wanted. And maybe this is a prop from a movie or something that it was a, a, a piece of lighting that they used in his favorite movie. Okay, happy with that. Uh, TV wise, um, we're going to go for a flat screen. We're going to do it. I was going to put it on a side, but we don't really need to now. So I'm thinking about using quite a substantial flat screen. Maybe one of these because it's got the. Yeah, maybe this can be his little. He's got a projector or something. I mean, I could. How, how far do these size down? Oh, there we go. Oh, the shadow though. The shadow that this brings. Is that like a weird shadow hanging over that edge either? That's not too bad, actually. Yeah, I think we're going to do that, my loves. Yes, I am going to pull it just down, just so that white line is non-existent there. Lovely. Yes. Yes, I'm here for it. Um, I'm still going to use this, though. Main reasons being I do want to get a games console and stuff on top of it. So I'm still going to bloody use it. I think it suits the room as well, actually. It's got that modern vibe. Yeah, I think so. Here we go. And a nice little games console flopped in. Oh, damn you. Is that the darkest that you've got 
I mean, we can use that one. That's not the vibe, though. I think this one would look better, even though it has got yellow on it. Oh, well. We'll go for that one. Oh, no. It's got yellow on it. <laughs> no. Shan't. Shan't and won't. And we'll still put a stereo in here as well. Uh, even though there is one out there. Oh, in fact, we'll do a, an Alexa. Or what are they called in Sims? A Lindsay. A Lindsay speaker. Yep. Loves a bit of tech. So maybe actually giving him a iPad and a laptop as well. Um, I think I'll definitely put a nice laptop out here. It'd definitely be a really nice one as well. Um, I would say he's a part time. He works part time as well. But I don't know what job I could give him. Hmm. Um, yeah, what kind of job would he like? I don't know. Maybe he part time barista or something. Or maybe something a little bit more interesting than that. Maybe he's maybe he works from home. Maybe he works from home and. Oh, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, but something's going to come afoot. I tell you that much. This rug would look really good in here. But not of that size. I think like this size. There. Oh, it does look very nice in here. Is that coming out there? No, it's fine. Oh, that looks lovely. That looks gorgeous. So yes, we've got that one. And we're going to go in and give him a nice musical instrument now. Because we did say that he definitely wants to be in the musical uh, he wants to be a musical whiz. Oh, damn. There's no black guitar. Really? They have got that, like, special guitar, haven't they, with the skull on? But I haven't got that. I do not have it. Oh, that is black. I wanted it to be electric, though. Have we got electric guitars? I don't think we have. Oh, we have. Oh, my God. That's the one I wanted. Yes, a skull head freezer bunny. Absolutely living for that. I am. And I'm thinking maybe getting a big pop of green in here with a nice big plant. Like this. Maybe that could be cool in the corner there. I can size this down slightly. And just whiffle it around a little bit. Just so it's not poking through anything. Oh, I like that. Yes, I do like that. Yes, and then we're going to put a nice um, bookcase in this corner here. That is happening. Right, this one. Maybe this one. Um, It does look good there, but it's just not the right. Oh, that one there looks better. I'm going to try and do something with this. Let's have a little look. What, what can we do with you? Oh, they've got mirrors on it. I forgot. Damn you to hell. Oh, I really like this object, though. Maybe I could use this in his bedroom. I'll use that in the bedroom somewhere. See, he definitely he's a bookworm, so it makes sense to have a collection of books. And then maybe under here, I can use that object. Um, that is the big pile of books on top of that suitcase. Uh, there we go. Do you come in a dark color as well? Well, darkish. Just because he does, he's studying up vampires and whatnot. I like that idea. Yes. Yes, okay. Right, we're moving on to the boudoir. Okay, so here we are in said boudoir. I'm going to use this bed from City Living, which is the, fut the futon. Is it called the futon? Double futon. Oh, that was the used one. No, we wouldn't go for the used one, darling. You would definitely have a brand new spanking bed. Um, And this... Um, I Excuse you. This light here, I forgot to put in the living area. So maybe just down there, that could be cute. Have a look at you. Do you come in a darker tone? Is that the darkest you come in? Ah, that one, that tone there's a like look at the difference between these two. Just a little bit more grey. <laughs> Stunning. So that one can go there. Now above his bed, I would probably see another painting of some kind, or maybe another movie poster or something. Or ooh. Oh yes. This is like the Pink Floyd album cover. I've never even noticed this before. It's from um, university. That's why it's one of the swatches. Yes, that would work really well in here. Loves a bit of Pink Floyd. 
Um, oh, I like that as well. Yeah, maybe he goes to a few like industrial clubs as well. Um, industrial is like a subculture to it's like industrial goth. It's like a subculture to the goth community as well, I think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Any of you beautiful goths out there? I would love to know. Uh, I've been to a club before, an industrial goth club in um, London called Slime Light. Has anybody been to Slime Light out there? Um, that was an eye opener. <laughs> it was amazing, but my God, some debauchery went down in there, darling. Absolute filth, I tell you. Um, so object, we need. We did say we were going to be getting an altar of some kind. So maybe let me just see. Uh, in the realm of magic, what we've got going here. Yeah, I wanted something like this, but that's massive. Oh, that's a better rug. Oh, Christ, that's huge. What colours do you come in? Uh, I'm thinking that rug's going to suit the aesthetic a little bit more. But I just need to get the right tone. Um, Yeah, that one. That's the ticket. We're going to size you down, though, darling, because you're very large. And then I'll put that shape, like, there. Oh, that's better. That's much better. So maybe I'll do this instead of having an altar and I'll make it look like he's got an altar over here. Uh, we'll use this one. because It's got the kind of sun and moon cycles going on there. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do this on the table here. Table on the wall of there. We're not going to put a dresser in here. My feelings were, again, clothes are going to be over there. So I would maybe use a hall table. Um, not from Realm of Magic, but definitely in a dark tone, darling. Um, uh, if you guys want to know some really, or my favourite goth YouTubers that I like to watch, I should have said this earlier, um, they consist of a few, there are a few I like to watch, one of them being called, uh, Of Herbs and Altars, she's called Vivian, and she is absolutely amazing, uh, she, Approaches on subject that may not be suitable for the younger top people, but she has always got something very intelligent to say, and I could listen to her waffle on about absolutely anything. I really could. Another uh, is Black Friday. I absolutely love her content. She is just a kind, thoughtful, lovely human, and very interesting to watch. I, yeah, I really, really, I definitely um, recommend her. And also Kayla from Toxic Tears as well. I do love her content as well. So yeah, go and give them some love. I will link every all of those three down in the description box anyway. Um, they're really fun to watch. I would definitely recommend it. So flop on over and give them some love. Um, candles. Maybe a nice rouge one. Oh, that's not going to go up there. Do you go up there? Oh, you do. Can I put quite a few in? I can. Okay, now can we get crystal? I'm going to pull out some stuff from Debug. One sec. There we go. I've just pulled out a few little objects and just made this place look a little bit more altery, shall we say. I would have loved... I wonder if I can pull out a wand, actually. To kind of act as a... Is it a chalice? Do you call it a chalice? Um, Let me see. A wood wand. Wand of astral creation. <gasps> that sounds fancy as fuck. So maybe, oh, a marble wand. That makes sense because it would be, um, like some of them have like a, a quartz at the end of them and stuff. If I'm right, think, if I'm thinking rightly, is that floating? Oh, you, oh, so is that skull. My goodness. I didn't think that was floating. Um, oh, look at him. Look at him floating around like a silly bum. Did that let me put that there then? It did. So I'm going to do that. And we're going to whiffle you around instead. Oh, stunning. Absolutely beautiful. And I don't think this is going to fit on there because it's floating, isn't it? We'll sort that out in a minute. But you get the right idea. The wand is going to be there and it, everything's going to be beautiful. Yeah, I'm there for that. Absolutely there for it. Um, Do you know what? I will be able to fit a dresser in here. I'm going to use the minuscule one from... Uh, Tiny living, my loves. I'm going to flop that in the black as well. Right there. And then we can put something on top of it too. Let's just move this poster up slightly. 
that still look good it does it does indeed maybe getting a nice clock in here as well just up on the wall can i put that in the middle there oh yeah that looks cute yeah yep 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 and maybe up here i'll just plonk oh my stomach's just rumbled something chronic i'm very hungry maybe a few of these plant boys yes yeah and the bathroom i'm just going to furnish the same as everything else uh i'll quickly do that now off of camera because it's just boring there we go one generic bathroom with everything that the, he will need in the finest color of charcoal <laughs> the lino floor he couldn't get up it was stuck to the floor something chronic and he could not get it up off the floor so he was fuming absolutely fuming there we go that's enough of his personality coming in we're just going to bring him into his pad come on in william come and enjoy oh it's that chair isn't it and he's angry as well for some reason what about now darling oh callum's coming why can he not come in oh it's because i silly bum there we go. And now lock the door for everyone else. Everyone but William. Oh, he's hot. He's hot. I would see him as maybe half Japanese as well. He's definitely got... um, He's definitely got an Asian look about him. So I'm definitely going to say that he's, def he's got some Japanese in him. Maybe his mum's Japanese. So we need to remember that for the storyline in a bit. Um, get over here and practice on your guitar, my darling. Go on. In you go. Look at that swagger. He's so cool. I love him. I love him. You're going to practice, darling? We'll level up his skills as well off of camera. So don't you worry about that. Do not worry. Everything is going to be okay. Where am I? There I am. But yeah, I think this place is done, my loves. Council block is done. It is absolutely done. If there's anything that you think I should add um, into his flat, any of you guys out there that have got a lot more knowledge of cystic fibrosis and stuff, then please let me know because I will definitely do it. Um, but yeah, that is it. That is it. That there is council block. Julian Jacobs has identified a type of fish. Stunning. Ah, oh, council block is finished. My darlings, this is up on the gallery. Right now, you can go and download this into your game. Just remember to use the Devon Bumpkin hashtag or even the Bumpkin Newcrest, or one word, both of them. And you can have this in your game and you can decorate it to however you may wish. Um, But yeah, I'm going to, we will come back here. I'm going to do a one-off kind of let's play where we'll get, I'll set up some funny happenings and stuff and make it a bit hilarious. We'll do it. Um, look at them. They're all up eating, eating her bits. Stunning. But yeah, done. My friends, thank you so much for your support on this uh, part. I'm having so much fun. I'm loving creating this content for you guys. I really am. We are going to be back tomorrow with a new house in Let's Build New Crest. We're going to go over to the posh area and do and build some posh houses. But I do want the characters to kind of shine through with these houses. That's going to be the most important thing. Oh, look at you. Yes, queen. No idea who that is. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.